what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk charleston white is a very controversial brother and at first i used to think that he was a troll mm, this is how i could explain what he was doing because hey he's a troll so something is wrong with him because he's a troll that's why he acts like that and then i started to believe that no he's not a troll something is something is wrong with charleston white you know he might say some real stuff every now and then but charleston white has a problem charleston white has a mental issue i don't care how smart you think he is i don't care how intelligent he is something is wrong with that man point blank period now this was evident when there was an interview and charleston white was asking about arguing with his wife what he said was unthinkable everybody you get into it with do you always got to go below the belt yeah why i i go to below the belt with my wife if me and my brother arguing ah that's why your daddy don't come see you that's why your grandma on your daddy's side died i go listen i go to below the belt with anybody i have an altercation with because when the gloves are off, the gloves are off. Who fight with limitations? Who put restrictions on, on fighting? Well, man, you, no, nah, homie, when we into it, nothing is off limits, even if you my woman. Yeah, that's why your daddy tried to f when you was a kid. That's why your daddy was my when your sister got me f***ed up. Now, I'm a mean mother when we arguing. You been not, man, no, nah, I'm a mean motherfucker. So, no, so let me be. Because you already know what kind of mouth I got. So, let me be. I don't know what Charleston White has against King Von. Um, King Von died in 2020. Young brother in Atlanta. Um, you know, he got killed. He got shot. He swung on someone. Uh, another rapper got killed. I didn't even know Charleston White was in 2020. So King Von had no issue with Charleston White, didn't know who the guy was. But he consistently talks down on this brother who is dead. He's getting into it with Von's family. He's getting into it with Von's sister and all of this. Okay. Now, I want you to see what Charleston White posted on his Instagram. Here he is with Lil Tom the killer of King Von. He says this, Dean King Von mother, I actually met this great young king and shook the legendary hand that pulled the trigger to slump and hump King Von. My life has been blessed with abundance ever since that day I connected with the spirit of God's angel, AKA the demon slayer. I love and honor this young N word or blur that right here. He's a hero to the N word nation. We'll blur that. We're smoking on that Von pack tonight. Thank God for Lil Tom 3 Say Cheese TV. Now, Lil Tom, I think he got off with that charge. Uh, he was acting in self defense. And I understand that King Von lived a dangerous life. They said that King Von was a hitter, that King Von took the lives of, of some people. Um, you know, I'm not sure of that, but that's what I heard. Like, it, basically, if King Von was still living today, uh, there's a good chance he might have been indicted on some charges because he was really with the stuff. It could be true. I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I definitely don't think he was no punk. But let me just say, even if it is true to his family, they're not going to care about the fact that he took the lives of somebody else. They're not going to look at it like that. Even with little Tom, right, who's being used by King Von. Like, bro, you in the picture with the dude that just used you to basically say that you are already in danger as it is. Now you let this dude come in here and play you like this. And it's like, damn, bro. Like, how dumb can you actually be? This guy is talking about this dead man's mom. And that's kind of where I got to be like, come on, bro. You are a black community activist for real. This is somebody who loves the black community. You're going to troll somebody's mom like the man is dead. 
even Lil Tom don't get out there talking about King Von like that. I mean, Lil Tim, whatever you say, Lil Tom. This guy, like I said, the guy passed away. Lil Tom don't really bring it up, okay? He He's trying to do his thing. He He doing whatever he's doing, and that's it. I don't ever see him dissing King Von, saying F King Von. I mean, it's over. You know, he was rolling with Quando Rondo and he did, you know, what he did. He didn't go to jail for what he did. He got off somehow. So that's it. Okay. And this is a dude that lives with all kind of threats every day. I just see him living his life and that's it. Now, Charleston White, who's an older guy. Bro, I just honestly think, man, uh, how, how can somebody not come and want to check you for this because man come on bro like like for you to say that man that is I, I can't even fathom like back in the back in the old days when i was coming up it was dangerous back then in the 80s and 90s bloods and crips people will come in man shoot up your house um home invasions i mean they they and they, they could take everybody out in the house Kids, everything. You would never hear nobody bragging about that. Making it like, ah, oh, man, you know, F your dead homies. You would never hear about that. Because it, it, it already happened. You know, and it, you you know who did it. You would see him and, you know, it's, it's going to be on site and everything like that. And, um, you know, when I, when I, when I see you, I'm going to see you. And that's just what it is, man. This whole culture is so much evil in the world today. And we got to understand, man, you got to pay for what you say. You got to pay for it. When you say the things you say, you got to pay for it, man. Now, when them demons come back your way, which they will, don't ask for no forgiveness. Don't act. Take your L, bro. You know, when them people coming for you and they will, because Quando Rondo, if I'm not mistaken, he got shot at when his homies died. In LA. So you I mean you asking for it. All so you can get clicks. All so you can get jewelry. It's crazy. If you look at look at uh Charleston White in this picture, you know, with some jewelry on, he next to Floyd Mayweather. You know what I mean? It's like, bro, like at 50 years old, you're going viral with the same thing just so that you can get jewelry, bro. Is that what it's about? You wanted some jewelry? You know, like if you gotta talk about people. Just for some jewelry, you don't need it, bro. You know, the one thing I like about YouTube, me being a creator, one thing I love about this is I never have to worry about looking over my shoulder that somebody gonna try to do something to me because of what I said about them or try to kill me or something. I ain't gotta worry about that. You know what I mean? I, I, I ain't even gotta worry about none of that. I'm, I'm content, like, Hey, hey, ain't nobody gonna come and shoot me because I just said I didn't diss somebody's, you know, dead home or whatever. No. No. So, guys, what do you think, your boy? O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of Surgery Junk. Put your fire, you do, Sir Bell. We're out. Mm -hmm.